In the scorching desert, the Israelites faced a dire need for water. Twice, at Rephidim and Meribah, God instructed Moses to strike a rock, and water miraculously poured forth. Exodus 17 verse 1 to 7, Numbers 20 verse 1 to 13. These were astonishing acts of divine provision. But did science know how such a water rock could exist? Yes. According to geologist Colin Humphreys, professor of material science at Cambridge and expert in biblical miracles, limestone and sandstone, the common rock types of Sinai, are inherently porous and can store large quantities of water. In arid regions, these rocks form a hard mineral crust that traps moisture. When fractured, just like Moses did, the stored water can gush out. This doesn't diminish the miracle. It highlights how God can work through his creation to meet our needs. The location, timing, and extraordinary abundance were far beyond natural coincidence. They were divine orchestration. But there's more. This event also points us forward spiritually. In John 4, Jesus declares, Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. It will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The rock's water sustained bodies in the wilderness, but Christ, the living water, sustains our souls forever. So remember, God provides, physically and spiritually, even your driest places. He opened the rock and water gushed out. It flowed like a river in the desert. Psalm 105 verse 41. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for being our provider both in the wilderness and in our daily lives. Just as you brought water from the rock for your people, remind us that you still meet our needs in miraculous ways, seen and unseen. We stand in awe of how your word and creation work together, confirming your truth. Strengthen our faith, Lord, as we trust in your promises. When we feel dry, weary, or lost in a desert season, refresh our souls with your living water. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.